Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this video, let us solve two real time scenarios. So whenever you are hosting your own server, whenever you are hosting your own server, so during that scenario, I'll tell you what are the major issues that you face. So networking issue is the one concept that is a security issue. That is one concept that you face during real time. Mostly that comes to picture and the another case is compute issue. So don't worry, I'll explain you in detail about these two issues. So first, in order to understood the problems, that is a security related problem and compute related problem. First focus on security related problem. Now you can see I have my server which is running. So there it has some title and it has some data that is it has some body inside it now let's say while configuring or while changing the configurations of my aws services due to some random changes or due to due to any other mismanipulation let's say my configurations has been changed in my AWS account. Then do the server available? First thing, no, right? Yes. So if your security was changed, then obviously your server won't be available to the clients. So clients cannot be able to access your website, right? Yeah. Now you can see same, you can see the IP address is same. Now I am just reloading it. I am just reloading it. Let's say due to some mismanipulation or some mistake, there will be any issue happened at my server and my server is not working. So in that case, in that scenario, what we need to do in order to rectify that mistake, you can see now our server is now this site is this site can't be reached that means uh, due to some mismanipulations my server is uh, not providing the website that i have configured so we need to troubleshoot this issue and we need to provide the exact server to our clients right yes so in order to provide my website to the client i need to overcome the issue which i was facing now in order to do that so first where you need to check first let us start from our web server so do my server that is do my instance or do my instance contains that web server or not so where actually i host that web server there you can go and check inside your instance whether that server is or web server is hosted or not so now in order to check so first i want to check since it's a http http type that is a since it's a html page type website i want to check the status of this httpd so for that write the command system ctl i'm just reloading it you can see the public ip address does not changed again i'm establishing the connection to the same server Now, in order to show you, I'm just moving back to my AWS management console. You can see this is the S1 is the server that I have created. Actually, currently it is running. Now, what I'm expecting, I'm expecting to connect to it. So in order to verify my website is present in it or not, I want to connect to it. So I'm using the first option that is easy to direct connect option, easy to instance connect option. I'm just clicking on connect. Now let us see whether it connects or not at first. So it's a reloading that is a establishing connection. Now you can see we got an error message failed to connect to your instance. So failed to connect to your instance. What's the reason? EC2 instance connect is unable to connect to your instance. 
ensure your instance network setting are configured correctly for your ec2 instance connect so what's the reason network setting network setting for your ec2 is not correctly configured that's the reason so currently now how to how to rectify that so in order to rectify that the reason is we are even unable to connect to this server due to some mismanipulations or due to some learning misconfigurations this might happen during your running time so how to overcome this how to troubleshoot this issue to tro to troubleshoot this issue and connect to your ec2 instance or whatever the instance that you created first you need to check with so where this ec2 instance actually present so in order to know that you need to see first you need to select that particular instance then you can see networking under this networking you have the details regarding where actually your instance is present you can see under which vpc it is present that was visible here and so under which subnet under which subnet id actually this instance is present that is also there actually you can protect any servers by using this security group so at security group level only you can able to deny the access or allow the access allow someone or deny someone to access your servers so i hope there may be some misconfiguration happens at subnet level so that's why my request is not going to connect to this instance so first i want to check that subnet level security groups and there i want to configure i want to allow the traffic at first so i'm just opening this subnet and now let us see whether that subnet is a public subnet or private subnet so when do we say a subnet is a public and when do we say a subnet is a private sub you can say subnet is public whenever it allowing the traffic from internet when do we say a subnet is private if the subnet is not allowing the traffic from internet then you can able to say that subnet is a private now i selected that particular subnet now i want to see you can see route table i want to first see network acls whether this network acl will stop my incoming traffic you can see inbound traffic all traffics are allowed all traffics are you can see at last allowed so there will be no issue with nacl network acls access control list now i want to check with the route table whether it was allowing me the internet traffic since if it allows the internet traffic then only i can able to connect to my instance right via internet yes so let's first check that you can see under this route table under this route table it was just allowing the local traffic so what are the traffic present inside this cider block so that traffic only allowing that means uh, so whatever the networks or uh, instances which are present in this particular in this particular cider block can able to access this uh, all the instances which are present in this uh, subnet right yeah so but what i am expecting i am expecting to provide internet access so currently there is no internet gateway present so by using internet gateway actually you provide the internet hello yeah so currently you can see under route table we only have this local route right yeah so we can say since it does not have any internet gateway route we are not allowing any traffic from internet we can say this is a private subnet since it's a private subnet whatever the instances present in it present in this subnet cannot able to access the internet right yeah so but what we are doing we are expecting to connect from internet so in order to connect from internet we need to provide a public that is a internet access right yes so how to provide that route so in order to provide that route you need to click on edit 
this edit route table associations then you need to sorry first you need to open the open that particular route table you can see i am just clicking on that route table associated with that particular subnet now we entered into the route tables route tables place and just selected that particular route table here you can see it has a routes under this routes you have an option to edit the routes just click on it so that now you just entered into the edit edit routes place now i am just adding a route that is from anywhere from anywhere from anywhere through what i am allowing the traffic through internet gateway right so that's why i selected this by default you have some default internet gateway is available to you i'm just moving on with that default internet gateway selected that and now i'm just clicking on save changes now you can see our changes got updated right yes so in this particular route table if you observe in in this particular route table so you can see that internet route was added that internet route was added so i am just expecting to move back to the particular subnet which was where this route table is associated with so i am just moving back you can see this is a subnet and in order to identify this subnet you have the availability zone that is a 2a so 2a availability zone subnet in this 2a availability zone subnet in the route table i edited the route so previously i only have local route so currently you can see internet gateway route also available since i provided this internet gateway route you can see that route also available in this route table so where i actually saved or added this route i added this route in the route table associated with the subnet so i can now able to access the instances which are present in the subnet by using internet since i attached this internet gateway i attached this internet gateway in the route table of this particular subnet now what i am expecting is i am expecting to connect right first in order to connect to that ec2 instance so i just uh, expecting to open again ec2 management console and i want to connect it to my instance so i'm just opening the ec2 now in this instance i'm opening the instances and i'm selecting the instance and i'm expecting to connect so that's why i'm selecting connect option by using ec2 instance connect i am expecting to connect so i am just clicking on connect so till now what we have seen is so we have seen we have seen two major issues that is we have seen how to allow the traffic from from route table so whatever the route table associated with my subnet actually where these instances are present inside my subnet right yes so in order to connect to my instance i need to i need to allow the traffic internet traffic go into that particular subnet right yes so in order to allow that we allowed that using a route table and we have even checked whether internet access is denied at nacl level or not so currently not the not uh, disabled so that's why since uh, there ns at a uh, ns network acl level the traffic is allowed and at uh, routes for subnet route table level also we allowed the traffic from internet by using the internet gateway we can able to connect to the instances which are present in that particular subnet now you can see we successfully connected to the instance now in this instance i want to see the code so do i have any html code which are present in it so for that first i want to yeah so first i want to see where i am 
So present working directory, I want to see. You can see currently we are in home directory and our EC2 user we are now. Now I want to see whether code is present or not. So for that, I'm using cat command inside var file inside www actually inside my html index dot html is the file name that i want that uh, need to be that the file name need to be now you can see i got some code html code that means uh, i have the html file present here and i'm also expecting to see whether httpd is started or not so for that system ctl status of httpd i want to see so you can see the status is currently active so that's why it is running i think so yeah now i want to reload and check whether i can able to access the website or not you can see i'm just reloading it and i want to see whether i can able to connect to my website or not we allowed the traffic from internet to move towards to to reach the ec2 instance through subnet level at subnet level we allow the traffic and this instance also available this instance also available with the, the application web server application but then why do we unable to connect this site can't be reached at instance level also we need to allow the traffic at instance level also we need to allow the traffic so how to allow the traffic at instance level sir so at instance level you have security group i'm moving back to my aws management console you can see this is my instance right yeah so for this instance you can see an option that is a security so if you see this a security option if you see the security option you have a security group that is attached to this instance. The security group will control, will have a control to who can able to access. So which ports are allowed to access, which IP addresses are allowed to access. That is, you can see what is the inbound rules. So who can able to connect to it will be defined by using inbound rules, right? Yeah. So by default, all outbound rules are allowed, but only inbound rules are restricted. The traffic moving out from this instance is allowed, but the traffic coming or entering into this particular EC2 instance is restricted. You can see inbound rules. So in this inbound rules, only TCP port that is also this port number is allowed, but from all sources, from all sources, only TCP protocol is allowed and you can able to connect by using port number 22. So, but by using what port we actually connecting, we actually connecting by using HTTP port. You can see, I'm just copy and paste this in another page so that you can able to identify that you can see we are connecting with http so this http protocol and this http port number is not allowed till now to connect to this public ip address that is to this public ip address holding instance we do not have allowed for http request to connect since we haven't allowed in the inbound rules right yes so now let us see how to provide, how to add that inbound rule to HTTP request to connect to this instance. So for that, you need to open the security groups attached with your server. So that's why I clicked on that security group. Now you can see we redirected to the page of our security group. Now in this, we have inbound rules, right? So for these inbound rules, we have an option to edit inbound rules. So just click on it so that you reach to the editing page there you have to add a rule that is which type of traffic you are allowing since i am allowing the http traffic so that's why i'm selecting this http and you can see the port range what is that 80 so it allows you port number 80 to connect to that so from where you want to connect 
from all IP addresses through the internet. So you can specify all IP addresses by using this CIDR block range and just click on save rules so that this HTTP rule will be saved. You can see it was saved, right? Yeah. So you can even verify that here. You can see an inbound rule is added that is HTTP and port range is this. And from any source you are allowing the allowing this HTTP right HTTP type request. Now I'm just moving back to the EC2 instance and I want to see the inbound traffic that is HTTP traffic is allowed or not. So for this, since I added this, I want to recheck that. So currently it was not updated. I, I think it was not updated. Now I want to reload this. Yeah, can I reload the whole page again? Now I'm opening the security. So under the security inbound rules, you can see now another port that is port number 80 is added. That is nothing but a HTTP port. So now we can able to connect. You can even verify by reloading the page. You can see we connected successfully. So this is the security related topic. That is after some mismanipulations or after some configurations, if you unable to connect to your server, but that server is actually available that you previously connected. Then first, what you need to verify, you need to check whether that particular server related HTTP requests are allowed, whether this server is accepting the HTTP requests or not. By using the security, by using the security, you need to check that. So currently, let's say here you can see that is allowing HTTP request. Then your server is allowing at top level of your server. That is where your server actually present. So that you can able to see by using this networking. In which subnet actually it is present. That you can see by using the subnet ID. And you need to verify whether this subnet is allowing the traffic from internet or not. So in order to do that, you first need to open this so that it will be redirected to your subnet page. Exact what subnet that your EC2 instance is present. You just need to select that and verify that subnet related route table and network APLs. So whether they are allowing the traffic from internet or not. You can see in route table, internet traffic is allowed. And in network ACLs, it also need to allow the traffic from whatever the port protocol and whatever the port, by using what port you are connecting, that is allowed or not. So if it is allowed, then only your traffic will be allowed to this subnet and inside this subnet also you have instance level security, right? So that you have seen by using security groups. So if that security group also allowing the traffic, then only you can able to connect to your EC2 instance and your. So like that, you can able to verify or you can able to troubleshoot the issue coming whenever connecting to your actual server in real time as well. This is about uh, the network issue or security issue that you face in real time. So one of the major network or security issue, even that comes under your certification questions as well, majorly. So I hope you understood this issue. And in the immediate next video, you, I, I will tell you about one more issue that is a compute related issue. So I hope this video is understanding to you and you got some knowledge or knowledge recap related to the particular AWS server related concept regarding security, networking and EC2 instance. So I hope this video is understanding to you. If you feel this video is useful, then please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching again. See you back in the next video. Until then, bye bye guys.